This is Dolphin. We're hiding in buildings, but there are flying saucers all around us. This is Rabbit. We're surrounded by flying saucers and can't move. We should go save our men. That's too risky. Sergeant, do you hear me? We have info about the flying saucers. This is the Strategic Intelligence Division. Flying saucers are unmanned drones, meaning that we can still defeat them, even if they outnumber us. Tell me how. The color of the drone is the key. A blue drone is in alert mode and is presumed to be harmless. Uh, so the drones that glow in blue uh, are not dangerous. But under certain circumstances, the drones uh, will turn red. Red color drones are in uh, combat mode. They are killing machines that can trace and kill their targets. The drones in this area are all in alert mode. Don't fight all the drones at once. Lure a few of them each time and then destroy them one by one. Use this method well and you can win. Well done, Sergeant. Destroy the rest of the drones. There is no time to waste now. Sergeant, support the dolphin team and the rabbit team right away. Wait. Oh, I'm not Sergeant. I haven't been promoted yet. I was kind of curious about it. It's like, wait, did I get promoted? Blue means alert mode. Red means combat mode. They are machines anyway. Once we know their mechanics, we can deal with them. They look cool. I like the texturing in this game. Only the, well, I mean, the environments have gotten slightly better. There's still stuff. I think you can get close to the squad and lead them. Yeah. Yeah, I can. All right, let's go up and we'll we'll go and lead them. I do wish that there was like a full on just like I want to sprint in a direction mode. My leave's been canceled. Can I file a complaint? You guys are not helpful. After some detailed analysis, we have figured out the conditions in which the alert mode switches to combat mode. There are three conditions. First, humans reach closest point of approach distance. Second, they are attacked. Third, when a drone is hit, nearby drones will turn into combat mode. That means the drone that was hit will inform the drones around it about the enemy. Oh, the ranger has sprint. Well, I guess I'll have to try the ranger next, though we might have to do a mission or two to get him some good guns. Don't we have a battle plan? Is that so I have a battle plan. Charge! This is nowhere near as many as the last mission, so... Yeah, these missions are kind of backwards, because, like, this really is, like, a this is smaller ranger. amount of... We'll fight to the end. The Charge! No, that didn't work. I just got a hit. One, one. Coming. There's the one. Closing in. That pisses him off. Shoot at the right. Certainly not. Collapse. Yes, sir. I'll swap my magazine. Uh, Take cover. Uh, Watch out. Uh, I don't have the evade. best gun for check on your wounds later. pissing these guys off. I guess I'll piss some of them off. Okay, there we go. Come at us. I got nothing better to do. This is a neat mechanic, though. And I like these enemies so much better than the weird UFOs in, um, in 4.1. I think at this point my character is at least, at least a private in the army. Like the fact that I can summon a whole mecha, I think is a little bit more than well done civilian. Okay. 
It's for military use, but it's a case of emergency now, so let's just turn a blind eye to it. I'm impressed. Men down. Looks like a bit defeated. I'm impressed. All right. Now the main problem is just getting at these guys. I'm not actually sure how I'm going to be able to hit these things, am I? I'll leave the front to you. Your okay. yes, sir. I'm just going to pee bullets into the sky and hope, hopefully... This is the chief commander of the EDF. We are currently at war with the hostile force. Unfortunately, we suffered a preemptive strike and lost many bases. In addition, our enemy has been launching indiscriminate attacks on our cities by dropping monsters. As I am speaking, the casualties are increasing. Everyone, we have no choice but to fight. This is Dolphin. We have no way to run. We'll go out of the buildings and strike back. Aren't the rescue teams here yet? Okay, are they all pissed off now? Thank you. Shoot them once they're in raid. Approved. It doesn't do quite as much damage as the sniper. Right. What what was that? That was weird. That's like ugh. every once in a while it's just like the cursors uh the cursors, the uh the targeting lines just lose their minds. I'm not actually sure if position with your eyes. Got it! I'm not really what Okay. We did an amazing job. If we can analyze the data, we might be able to change the tide. That's it. Was the limpet sniper doing more damage? Yeah, but it fires slowly because I only get two shots. It is our duty to protect citizens, after all. We will take you to a safe place, and they keep taking me on new missions. There's just something real abusing about that. It's like, we'll protect you, and I'm like, highest kill count of every mission. Alright, so we didn't get bots on that one. Alright, uh let's let's try Ranger now. So what do we got? Not much. We do have a we do have a rocket launcher. And a grenade launcher. Let's see, anything in support? Nope. So we pretty much haven't gotten anything for the ranger except for armor. Well, monsters attack. Let's see if we can do this. At this point, it's confirmed safer to take you on to missions. Safer for them, not for me. It doesn't seem safe here. It's not just unsafe. This is worse than before. This definitely doesn't look good. The civilians are in greater danger than ah. we are. Sergeant, give us a hand. Destroy the monsters. Roger, let's go. Is it just me or are these missiles fly flying slower? It might be. I'm not sure. I'm also really curious about the sprint on this guy. Is he just always sprinting or? You are already a good soldier. Just sign up and join us. EDF could use someone like you. Oh, I'm a security guard. Being a soldier is awesome. This is the best job ever. As long as there are no monsters. Willpower is all that matters to a soldier. Got it. Okay. Settings. Change controls. Ranger controls. Dash. L3. Being a soldier is awesome. You can get a pension. Exercise your body, sense. but exercise your mind more. This is Ranger 3. We're fighting threat shooting monsters. Two of us got injured. Okay, so dash is also known, should also be known as butt dashing. Uh, due to the signature zoom in on that booty. Let's back off. Thought so. Ah! If you don't get tangled, there's nothing to fear. What? Hey, you guys! You guys will be the first to know when my character gets scared. Can't wait. Don't wake it's him up. 
This is the Strategic Intelligence Division. The black monsters we encountered before will be called Alpha from now on. The ones that shoot threads will be called Beta. Although the species Beta monsters are slow, they can unleash threads with acid, so they are very dangerous. Okay, I'm going to get webbed as hell, aren't I? That's pretty much a given. Okay, look at all these. Look at all this grape jelly! Wow! Uh... Yeah, I was, when they were talking about procedural generation, uh, procedural damage on these these enemies, I thought it'd be like I'd be shooting legs off and stuff, which I do do damage to them, but it's mostly just it, it turns them all fleshy looking until they're dead, at which point they kind of splinter and then jelly. Oh, maybe for EDF six. Hello. It's too far to shoot. Yeah, for a dose of more bullets. Just you wait. Confirm the shooting range. The gun jam. Mark the target. Yes, I hit. Well, don't shoot. Too far. Ranger feels pretty good. Oh, dang it. I do wish there was a button I could just hold though. L3 is awkward. End of chit chat. Let's go. Yes, sir. They're dropping monsters. Damn. Defeat all monsters. Ah. It's too difficult to destroy the large flying saucer. Yes, but at least you should wipe out the monsters. Take down the monsters. And advance. Wait, I can change the controls, can't I? Let's go. Yes, yes sir. It's about time. Uh, no, I don't. No, 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 no. I don't want to retreat. I want to change controls. Ranger controls. L1 is zoom. L2 is jump. Dash. Reload. Sprint. Vehicle. Oh, right. We can summon a vehicle. Uh... Would be a better dash. Yeah, I can change it. I just don't know what to change it to. Uh... Oh, that's awkward. Let's do it. We are Remember almost what I told the you yesterday. No nope. yes, sir. There are monsters dead ahead of us. Yes. Wait, hold on. There's a better way to do this, isn't there? Change controls. Ranger controls. Restore default. Restore default. Switch weapons is triangle. Dang it. Switch weapons is triangle and dash is R1. There. That should work. Just my luck. No. Yeah, because the main problem is I want to have access to the right stick so I can actually change which direction I'm sprinting in. The enemy is nearby. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Uh, keep your guard up. Yes, yes sir. I feel like my character should be shouting here, but yeah, triangle to switch weapon and R1 to sprint. That's much, much more comfortable. Remove the safety device. Yes, yes, sir. I'll show you what I have. Yeah, the rocket launcher, the sound effect they went with for the rocket launcher, it sounds so much more powerful. It's got some mad AOE, too. Like, the clip size is a bit rough, and it doesn't work so great in close range, considering. Large flying saucers are appearing everywhere. They keep dropping monsters. We know. The monsters are everywhere. Mark the target! Yes, sir. Let's go. Prepare to engage. But like I can fire this off into groups and it just does harm. Attention everyone. This is the chief commander. 
We were ambushed by the enemy and suffered great loss. The ravages of war have spread all over the world and are even getting more serious. It is unfortunate that we were heavily stricken by the enemy at our first battle, but we are not lost yet. The most urgent matter at hand is that our people are still in danger. We must pull ourselves together and start our counterattack. The EDF shall rise again, and the time is now! Civilian, this time I will definitely take you to a safe place. If there really is. <laughs> this time I will definitely take you to a safe place. I'm lucky to. <laughs> No, must grab armor. No, must grab armor. All right, one way or another, we got a reverser, grenade launcher. Oh, we should try a grenade launcher instead of the the rocket. All right, so we get some stuff. Probably matters. I don't know if it does. All right, ranger. I like the P P A one. So instead of that, let's do. Oh, oh, we got the emerald. Capacity 2, never mind the Emerald's garbage. Uh, capacity 7, uh, this might not be so bad. Okay, so this one has the bigger... Oh, detonation time. Never mind, not touching that. And we still don't have any support equipment. I wonder I wonder exactly what vehicles I'm going to be able to summon. We'll find out later. Are being dropped. Stay alert. Sergeant, pylons are being dropped from the sky. Help me. They're crashing down. The Safe place, my ass. Beta. They're coming. We can't leave the pylon like that. Destroy it before it causes Ooh. more casualties. <laughs> Okay, so the grenade launcher seems like a happy medium, at least for these early missions. It does a lot of damage. There we go. Anything Have you else? Made up your mind to become a soldier? Being a soldier is awesome. You'll receive a pension. You don't need to worry about your <laughs> life after retirement. Though you will be disappointed by the amount of the death gratuity. Save me! Wait, death gratuity? I don't want to die! I don't want to De die! Death taxes? I don't want to die! Help me! If we don't destroy the pylons, the monsters will take over the city! The enemy's plan is to fill the city with monsters, but we won't let that happen. Destroy the pylons and stop the enemy's plan. I like, I like the soldier's plan here. Keep bringing me into progressively more dangerous situations, so I have no choice but to enlist. Just because after a certain point, why not? Oh, the grenade launcher is good. Oh, it is good. I wonder if we got some more high capacity uh, ones in the future. I'll have to do some Inferno grinding at some point. If any of you guys pick this up on Tuesday, let me know. Because we could do s we could see if we can find like some Inferno weapon farming missions. I should probably aim for this. I mean we're doing great. Break. It'd be great if it actually truly had destructive, like, properly destructible everything. Oh well. That didn't really work. Ow. Just call them spiders. I like how I can just shove these around with my face. Ooh, weapon. Okay, I think that's it for this. Yup, and they're all gone. Alright, onwards! Hey, Tony! 
Welcome to EDF. <laughs> Seems like a game you'd like. Earlier today, EDF made a shocking announcement. According to EDF, the flying objects all around the world are spaceships of an extraterrestrial civilization. That's EDF not shocking. Also made the radar records public. The data showed the moment when numerous flying objects showed up on the Earth's orbit. The data record was so shocking that everyone at the press conference, including journalists, were speechless. Now, journalists from all around the world are crowding at EDF headquarters, and it's chaotic on the scene. Confirm distance with the enemy! Everyone... Everyone was speechless, even ju was speechless, even journalists at the pe press event. I. Who else is at press events? Interns, I guess. This universe would have unpaid interns. I get real tired of these screaming in this game. Out! What? Oh God damn it! Another civilian just decided to go hug my face as I'm flying the grenades slightly upwards. So I can't see them, but they're just at the right angle that my grenade launcher can and will hit them right in the face and knock me around. Get in the buildings, you yutzes! Let me guess. We're going to have to defend the EDF headquarters, or the EDF headquarters is going to get attacked. Like, I bet we're going to have, like, a news flash that the EDF headquarters have been destroyed. Oh, I get so sick of all that screaming. Yay. Huh. This actually almost seems like a prelude to, uh, the first mission of EDF-4. I am the strongest civilian in this universe. Fear me. <laughs> this really does feel so much more streamlined compared to 4. Like, normally I... I don't know, what would I call them? Perfect iterations. Every once in a while you'll get a game that's like a follow-up to a previous game, and it's kind of like weird and inferior, or changes too much, or whatever. Uh, or it doesn't change enough. This changed just the right amount, I think. I really could do with a, a slider for all of the screaming, though. I think that'll stop as we get further in, because there will be less people. I don't... I don't know. I hope so. I should probably try the machine gun. We're breaking one of these. Okay, yeah, it does more damage. Do not trust these people. If they say they will protect you, do not believe them. Do not trust them. Don't go anywhere with them. But many citizens have gathered here. There are people questioning the announcement, asking about EDF's plans or seeking protection. We can hear requests turning into yelling everywhere. Yeah, they're all dead. They're all dead. They're gonna get ganked by something or everything. But given how you use it, the shotgun might be worth considering. They haven't gotten a shotgun yet. I got a shotgun for my fencer. But I've not got a shotgun for my ranger yet. I'll take you to a safe place. These are lies! There's a lies! Let's see, not only press, but many citizens. Do journalists not get citizenship anymore? Oh no! No, this is this is like a fascist 
Uh, fastest government. Uh, presser. Presser second class citizens or government employees only. Sergeant, assign troops to protect the civilians. Take them to safety. Take the civilians to safety. How great would it be if our our uh, every mission we got like more people with guns just ro wandering around, and the sergeant's like, "Don't worry, don't worry, I'll take you all to safety." Alternatively, you can sign up with the EDF, and they're like, "No, take us safe, <laughs> take us to the safe places." You keep okay. There's a shotgun, and we do get a upgraded rocket launcher. It's okay. I don't know if I'm gonna go with it. Hey, we got the M. L R A. Oh. Ooh. Obstacle destruction during dash. Yes. Yes. So now I can just uh, charge straight through fences and everything. Yes. Alright. I might I might be just playing this. So we also get at least helicopters, tanks, and bikes. I'll probably keep playing with this guy for a little while. And let's grab the slaughter shotgun. That sounds fun. Using laser sight to confirm target range. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't think that's happening. Exercise your body, but exercise your Why mind. Why you take more. a mission like Got this? It. I'll that. take you to a safe place. This time for sure. <laughs> Where are we? We can all get a rest once we get there. I, I can fight no like more. Something. First, I will have a nice meal. And... Shush! I think I heard something. Monsters! A huge swarm of monsters! They're coming from all directions! I really have to say, this... More dangerous than before! This sprint is real good feeling. This monster is red! Skin is so tough! The bug just bounced off! Our attack is ineffective! I probably shouldn't kill these things while I'm there. I should probably actually go down there and join them. Monsters. This is hopeless. They're tough, but there's no acid. We can win. These things don't spit acid, so don't give up. Thank you. Dad's still alive. Don't give up, even if you get bit. Just shoot the monsters. Okay, so these are the red ants. I'm probably going to want to switch to the shotgun for this. Really depends if I get gibbed right in here. I guess I can always switch weapons. Now this is really bad! Ow. We can manage. You're the weapons of the red monsters are their fangs. Gee, you should help protect your allies. Eh, they respawn. Well, permission. I was hoping I could head them off or like fight the group first. I actually did not expect them to attack uh, from behind, but they did. They're all dead. Attention, everyone. This is the chief commander. I have an important announcement to make. The identity of the hostile forces is presumed to be an extraterrestrial civilization. Okay, I guess I can use the shotgun for a bit. I understand how you feel. Some may find it unbelievable, while others may think I'm mad. I wish that was the case, but unfortunately, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, uh. This is an official statement. We have made contact with an extraterrestrial civilization, and the Earth is being invaded by it. Is everybody okay with some grunting? Endless grunting. All right, good. Attention, everyone. This is the Chief Commander. The enemy is coming from the sky. There is nowhere safe on Earth. The Earth is turning into a battlefield now. I hope all of you are prepared and ready to stand on the front line. Hey, did you hear that? This is absurd. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, I, I think I'm probably gonna main ranger just because of how easy it is to farm, um, to like blitz through missions. When will we get EDFX Metal Wolf Chaos? Uh, I mean, technically, we've already got a, me a couple of mecha in this that I could kind of Metal Wolf Chaos. Not as fast though. This is an emergency news flash. EDF just made a major announcement. Spaceships were discovered and presumed to be owned by extraterrestrials. The spaceships have arrived on the Earth's orbit, and the EDF has started battling with aliens in some regions. There are no more comforting words I can say. I think you've already figured it out yourself. There's nowhere safe. Too bad. Come on. In a situation like this, we all get it. Let's see, can I show off the wing diver? Sure, I'll do one mission with the wing diver. The main problem with the wing diver, well, actually, wing diver might not be so bad in this one, or the thing is, the wing diver got a nerf for this one, so I'm like, kinda low. Okay, we got a new shotgun, new grenade, sniper rifle, slugger, huh. Okay, so the PA-11, more range, more shot speed, more accuracy, new slugger, new whatever that is. This is, oh, this is, nah, don't care about that one too much. Uh, let's see. Change to Wing Diver. So the Rapier. We've got the... Uh, let's see, I don't know. Probably want to just stick with the Rapier. Probably Plasma Cannon. Oh, there's like the Mirage Zero. Okay. Let's try some of these other ones. Diffuser. Seems interesting. Charge time is slow as shit, though. Let's not bother with that. Okay, so plasma core is maximum energy charge. Okay, so you actually get to upgrade your your like jetpack situation in this. That's neat. So laser weapons get weaker as their ammo decreases. Interesting. Burning sky. Uh, it looks like a troop of large flying saucers is coming this way. It's trying to pass through the area and drop monsters in the city. If it succeeds, it'll result in unimaginable casualties. We must stop it here and now. Air Force is about to arrive. Leave the flying saucers to them. We'll focus on the exterminating the monsters. Alright, so I'll try this. If I get my butt kicked, I'll switch away. Oh boy, that is not... <laughs> that is not really armor. <laughs> Japan! Okay. Hey, so we actually have pants. So I guess before we go too far, let's check settings, change controls, uh, wing diver controls. So jump is L2, location marking, boost is L3. Switch weapons R1. Pretty Exterminate them. simple. Okay, so this. Leave the large flying saucers to the Air Force. Defeat the monsters on the ground. Take out all monsters. Okay, so this is an interesting homing gun. This is a cool gun. Okay, so we're gonna run out of energy pretty quick. Okay, this might actually not be so bad. I wouldn't mind playing Wing Diver more. But I'm not sure if I... I don't know if I'd be able to keep up with it or, like, manage my energy well. Oh, so you can do light shots with the, uh... You can do body shots, or body shots, uh, lighter shots with the... with the plasma gun. So what are what are we supposed to be? If the last one was a large flying saucers is about to fly over this area, exterminate the monsters being deployed. Took down the enemy. Shooting skills are good. Was it in your dream? Get moving. Okay. Much more effective if you're in uh, flight mode to use the boost. Flight instructor, if I recall. Ha. Huh. Cover me. Sorry. The Air Force will shoot down the flying saucers. They will start the attack soon. So yeah, with the right kind of uh, 
tech for the backpack, you might actually be able to, like, straight up fly indefinitely and a couple other things. The That's kind of rad. All infantry, back off. I guess I'll just be up here. I feel like... Commencing air raids. Back off! Or we'll get caught in the air raid! Hell no! I don't want to die by friendly fire! Where are you guys going, anyway? This is Skybat. Commence attack. Too late, too late! You think you can beat us with those weapons? <laughs> this was too easy! Try dodging that, dumbass! Oh, at least I don't take damage. Nice job, guys. No damage? Damn! Our attacks were ineffective! They didn't dodge because there's no need. Large flying saucers are dropping monsters! We must stop the monsters here! Don't let them enter the city! Who's next? You're good! Yeah, so you can't... I don't think you'd be able to destroy him here. Alright, I should... Why did they come up here? Why were they following me? That's hilarious. I have really split the troop here. This is a war situation report. Although the EDF caused tremendous damage to the aliens, the battle is still continuing. We have the upper hand. Please do not be influenced by rumors. Stay calm and don't panic. There will be evacuation alarms in areas where evacuation is required. In order to act rapidly in case of evacuation, please start preparing your basic necessities and be ready. Well, I do have to give the, uh, the Wing Diver credit. She's fun to play. I, honestly, I will probably, uh, switch between them kind of freely, depending on what the mission requires, especially because they actually support that in this game. It might be one of those that I don't really mess around too much outside of Ranger until we get, uh, until we find, like, a good Inferno grinding spot. The Air Force is about to strike. Back off. Prepare to engage. Yes, sir. It did nothing last time. Our targets are huge. You can't miss. Fire! What? I mean, it's not working at all. What is the secret behind the golden armor? We won! No, you is really didn't. Is there nothing we can do about those aliens? If our attacks don't work, we can't put up a fight. If we can't retaliate, we're just sitting ducks. If we can't find a way to penetrate the golden armor, mankind is lost. Seriously. Always be prepared for battle. Yes, sir. I bet we fight that one. Something is out of dropping monsters. Goddamn aliens. Maybe not. Nah, I was just waiting. Flying saucers pass. Our operation failed. At least take down the monsters. Exterminate the monsters. We have to be our A game just to kill the monsters. If we can't shoot down the Lord's flying saucers, the monsters will keep multiplying. Guess we have to put our lives at risk for this one. Fall it! Attacks on the large flying saucers were ineffective. There's no way mankind can win. Yeah, I'm not sure if they've... I'm not entirely sure how bad the nerf is for... Uh... The flying saucers are dropping monsters that are larger than their own mass. 
They are probably equipped with the same teleportation device used by the pylons. Let me think. Does this technology teleport objects? Uh. That's amazing. We will call the enemy's transporting technology teleportation from now on. I... Yes? Let's talk about it later. Direct it. You're it... That's... That's... The visitors from outer space have been dubbed primers by EDF. Since we are at war, negotiation attempts have ended. The EDF has been criticized for its lack of effort in keeping the door to dialogue with the visitors open. It may not be the best policy to give up on peace talks at the initial stage. Shouldn't we continue to seek dialogue with the primers? Peace talks. Man. To take it back from those aliens. Peace talks. I don't know. How about very solid? What are you thinking? No. I almost got that armor. All right. So, yeah, wing diver. Well, I guess we get five armor for the wing diver. So we got power lance, pulse machine gun. We got stuff. I, yeah, try. Talking peace talks of what's killing people. Smart idea. Yeah, they're dropping giant ants. We have yet to find somebody that even talks with us. Okay, so I actually enjoyed that. 